Sam Rosen, Wally Matthews at the Leacora Center at Temple University in Philadelphia getting set for our main event. And you can score the fight online with Wally and myself. Log on to www.versus.com slash scorecard. Ten points for the winner, nine points for the loser of a round, eight points if the loser of the round gets knocked down. If you think it's a draw, ten points each. All right, and let me just give right now a little shout out to our friend and co-worker Nick Charles as many of you know Nick's battling some serious health issues, but as you also know he's a fighter. He's a tough guy I know he's watching tonight Nick we're with you man, and we expect to see you back with us in 2010 man One of the Get great well. people in our industry and one of the great people around boxing now coming up our main event Bernard Hopkins who hasn't fought in 13 months 49 5 and 1 one of the great fighters of all time Enrique Ornelas 29 years old coming in to give him a battle and hopefully hopefully get a win and make a name for himself. Indeed. 
feet on its feet, cheering their hometown hero. And this is a special night for him. I mean, he wants to keep boxing alive and excited here in Philadelphia. It means a lot to him. It does, because he knows that he's an important link in a chain that goes back, you know, through Joe Frazier, through Gypsy Joe Harris, through Benny Briscoe, all the way back to Philadelphia Jack O'Brien. I mean, this is just a great fight now. He's an important part of that history. He wants to keep it going. At the same time, Sam, as we mentioned in the opening, before the fight he's wanted since 1993 and that is a rematch with Roy Jones Jr. If you're a fight fan and you're watching this you know what happened. Bernard certainly knows what happened. We're going to show you what happened right. after this fight is over. But now he has to keep his focus on this fight not knowing where it leads. Well that's that's really the question with Bernard Hopkins. Where is his head at as he comes into the ring tonight. Here's the tail of the tape Wally. And obviously you know the, the significant statistic right there the age 44 years old Bernard Hopkins will be 45 years old in January. He's a physical marvel weighed in at 175 looks absolutely fabulous. Got a three inch reach advantage over Enrique Ornelas and a limitless amount of talent. Take a look at the uh, unified rules. It'll be in effect tonight for this 12 round bout. No three knockdown rule. No standing eight count. Only the referee can stop the fight and neither fighter can be saved by the bell in any round of the fight. We are getting ready as they fight this fight at light heavyweight weight class. Bernard Hopkins weighed in at exactly 175. Here's Dino Del Bono with gentlemen. the introduction. Once again welcome to the Leacora Center here at Temple University, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where this evening Golden Boy Promotions East, along with our sponsor, MGM Grand of Las Vegas, presents 12 rounds of boxing in the light heavyweight division. The judges for this Mr. Bobby Grasso, Mr. Steven Weisfeld, and Mr. Raul Caiz. Ladies and gentlemen, when the bout, when that bell rings, man in charge, Gary Rosato, your referee. This bout is sanctioned by the Pennsylvania State Athletic Commission, Commissioner Rudy Battle. Executive Director, Greg Sir, counting for the knockdowns, Jimmy Mina, Timekeeper, Freddie Bloomstein, ladies and gentlemen, and here we go for the main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing in the light heavyweight division. In the red corner, weighing in at 173 and one half pounds. He has a professional record, 29 wins, 5 defeats, 19 wins coming by way of knockout from Jesus De Le Monte, Mexico, Enrique Ornella. His opponent across the ring in the blue corner, weighing 175 pounds. Touch gloves, bang at the bell. Let's do it up, baby. Scheduled for 12. 
Bernard Hopkins, fifth fight that he's fought over 170 pounds. Up until then, he was the middleweight and the undisputed middleweight champion of the world. An incredible 20 successful defenses. 12 years without being beaten. I mean, he has, it's a really tough record to beat. And interestingly enough, I mean, we thought he was washed up before he fought Felix Trinidad. He was 37 years old, and here he is eight years later. The career that started in 1988, he was inactive in 89 and really got going in 1990. Bernard Hopkins. Enrique Ornelas said one of the keys, don't get hit with stupid shots. Right, very important. By the way, something we haven't mentioned, he's the brother of Lebrado Andrade, yes. who was uh, stopped uh, just last week by Lucien Boutte with uh, that body shot, solar plexus shot. Up so in Quebec City. He'll be looking for that punch. Don't forget, you can score this fight along with Wally Matthews and us here at ringside by logging on to www.versus.com slash scorecard. Ten point must system, ten points to the winner of a round, nine points to the loser, eight points if there's a knockdown, and ten points to each fighter if there's no clear cut winner. If you'll join us for the scoring of the fight. We believe in Wally. We have to take <laughs> Yeah. Good pressure by Ornelas. But you know, Bernard plays the slowdown game so well. Very relaxed in there. You know, he's trying to low Ornelas into his little trap. That's what he does. Ornelas knows it as well. And sometimes, even when you know it, you know, it's like you know it's coming and you can't hit it. Bernard Hopkins with some long range plans that originally began with the rematch with Roy Jones Jr. And we're going to take you to Australia and show you the Roy Jones Danny Green bout. Roy Jones was beaten in that fight, and that may totally break up the plans of Bernard Hopkins. Well, even more important than seeing that fight, which will be important if you haven't seen it yet, you want to hear what Bernard Hopkins' reaction was, because this will be the first yeah. place to hear it tonight, when he woke up this morning and found out that the fight he'd been waiting for almost two decades is not going to happen. But he's also talking about going up and fighting as a heavyweight. David Hay. That's who he wants. The WBA champion. He's got to get past this guy first. Scheduled for 12. But light heavyweight. Bernard Hopkins. Enrique Ornelas. Punch out. Let's go. Punch out. Get the arm out of there. Get the arm out of there. Gary Rosado. Get it loose. Get the arm out. Break! Break! The back of the punch. Work inside as we come to the final seconds of the opening round. Scheduled for 12. Out for round two, scheduled for 12. Bernard Hopkins in the red trunks. And Enrique Ornelas in the black trunks. Thoughts on round one, Wally? Yeah, you know, I just, uh, I, I thought it was a close round. I gave it to Ornelas because I thought he was more active. But I must be honest with you, I didn't see anything in that round that tells me he will win the fight. Because Bernard Hopkins didn't draw a deep breath between rounds. So he's just kind of settling in here. is trying to be the lead. Punch out, punch out, let's go, let the arm out of Bernard, let the arm out of it. One thing Bernard Hopkins talks about is discipline, and that has been a big factor in his life. You know, it's beyond discipline. It's like it, it takes it to a concept that, you know, I, I can't even conceive of, and I'm sure many of you can't either. But we talked to his trainer, Nazim Richardson. He said, this guy still comes to the gym every day wanting to win every single round in sparring. You know, that's a heck of a, and you saw the numbers there. Slight edge for Hopkins, 11 to 9. You know, I, I don't generally use the numbers to, to score my rounds. I thought Ornelas was a little bit more active. But I could see the round going either way. Good combination by Hopkins. Best punch of the fight so far. Ellis trying to answer right back and pressure Hopkins. Keep 
Another good shot by Hopkins. You know, Hopkins is a good puncher. It doesn't, it's not really reflected in his record because his inclination is not always to knock his guys out. But I'll tell you what, he can bang. And if you don't think so, you know, ask Trinidad. Hey, hey, the back, the back will punch. Watch the heads, watch the heads. Terry Rosado cautioning both fighters. Fight night on versus, and we've got Roy Jones Jr. and Danny Green from Australia coming up after this battle. And that one, even if you know what happened, and I'm sure most of you do, you're going to want to see yeah. how it happened. And you're going to want to hear what Bernard has to say about it, that's for sure. We had a great meeting with Bernard yesterday, <laughs> a long meeting, and most of it was dominated about talk about fighting Roy Jones Jr. Absolutely. Now. So you know, you know that that weighed on his mind today. He looks very happy now, but you know that's part of his deal tonight. Final seconds of the second round as they exchange in the center of the ring. Michael Vick of the Philadelphia Eagles here at ringside to see Bernard Hopkins take on Enrique Ornelas. This is round three scheduled for 12 at 175 pounds. You know, interesting thing, Mike, and the sight of Michael Vick just reminded me of this. Alan Iverson's coming back to Philadelphia this week. Do you realize Bernard Hopkins has not fought here in six years? Wow. Thanks fought down the road a piece in Atlantic City, but not in his hometown of Philadelphia since 2003. This is a bit of a homecoming for him as well. Hopkins lead looks very comfortable out there. Absolutely. And you know what? They were working on the left eye of Ornelas in the corner. They had an end swell on it. It's a little purple. I mean, you know, unspectacularly, quietly, Bernard Hopkins is starting to exert himself in this fight. A lot of work being done on the inside. You see there, the uh, you saw the punch count right there. You see a, a little wider margin in round two. And let's see what happens now in round three. Now, here's my question, though. At age 44, almost 45, how's Bernard? going to be in rounds 10 11 and 12 uh, my prediction exactly the way he is okay. now and the reason being that Ornelas is not taking him out of his fight plan as he wanted to he is not making Bernard work at a pace that Bernard can't keep up first of all Bernard's in great shape I want you to find the pace that he can't keep up you know you got to make him work at a pace at which he's uncomfortable and right now Bernard looks like he's sitting in an easy chair they did say they wanted him to make him use the ring, but that hasn't been the case. Bernard has gotten his area, his spot that he likes and fights there. And he always does. I mean, this is something that he has perfected. Ornelas when he is. Ornelas got in a right hand. He fights his way off the ropes. Good exchange. And Ornelas has landed some good punches. Yes, he has. He has. The thing is, you know, you rarely see Bernard Hopkins hurt. I can't remember the last time he was down. I know he has been down for many, many years. I mean, this is a guy who not only takes a good punch, but knows how to take a punch, knows how to minimize the effect of a punch. And it's very, I can't imagine that Enrique Ornelas, as hard as he's trying, and you see there's Hopkins countering and beating his man to a punch. You can show Bernard Hopkins anything that, you know, he's not equipped to deal with. Ornelas has done a good job in this round. He has put some pressure on Bernard Hopkins. I think he's done a good job throughout the fight. You know, don't get me wrong on that. It's just that he hasn't done anything out of the ordinary that's going to beat Bernard Hopkins. Not yet. Ooh, and he ran into a shot. Left hand on the inside by Hopkins. Coming to the end of round three. He's out for round four against Enrique Ornelas. What do you think through three rounds, Wally? Well, I gave round three to Hopkins. Uh, you know, I thought that it was a good round again for Ornelas, but, you know, I was just going back through my notes after the conversation that we had with Ornelas yesterday. He's a great guy to talk to, but his plan was to take Bernard's legs away by working the body, and I don't think he's been able to do very much of that so far. I'll punch him behind the head. Hey! 
He knows that Bernard Hopkins wants to use him as a stepping stone. He's using that as motivation for this bout to try and upset the local hero. Good right hand right by Hopkins. And, and a, a follow-up, a counter right hand by Ornelas. And a good right hand by Ornelas. You know what? I was going to say, I guarantee these two gentlemen had as a little warning to Hopkins there. Absolutely opposite reactions to the news out of Australia this morning. I'm sure Ornelas saw it as something in his favor that he could capitalize on tonight. And he's fighting a good fight. You rarely see Hopkins miss that badly. If Bernard Hopkins want to, wants to extend his career, and if he wants to fight meaningful fights, he knows he has to look good in this fight. Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt. I mean, especially when you're 44 years old going on 45. And he said it, you know, when you're my age, you can't just win. You have to win impressively. Otherwise, you know, nobody's going to want to look at you. But there are fights out there for him. I'm not sure I buy the David Hay thing. Oh, good right uppercut by Ornelas. I'm not sure I buy that he can move up and fight a guy who's 6'3", you know, 215 or so, and can punch the way David Hay can. But, I mean, there are light heavyweights. Cruiserweights, maybe. Cruiserweights. There's Boutte. There are guys out there that he can fight. Maybe a guy in Australia. <laughs> Danny Green? <laughs> maybe so. On the inside. Watch out. Ooh, there was another good short right by Ornelas. You know, he's been landing that punch pretty consistently. He has done very well on the inside, yeah. which is usually Bernard Hopkins' domain. Absolutely. And, you know, Bernard's often beaten, been uh, accused of being a dirty fighter. He's using his head in there a little bit, as he often does. Been warned for holding behind the head. That looked like a low blow. So, I mean, you know, Bernard does some rough stuff in there, but Ornelas seems to be okay on the inside. Bernard Hopkins would say, I'm slick. Not a dirty fighter, right? Well, absolutely. <laughs> and because he says it so honestly, you believe him. <laughs> Time winding down in the fourth round, scheduled for 12. All right, let's take a look at uh, Bernard Hopkins in round number four. You see, he landed a good right hand here, a little bit short. I thought the better right hands in that round, Sam, came from Ornelas. In fact, I gave him the round. Gary Rosado went into the corner of both fighters and cautioned them about their heads. He said, I don't want to take a point away from either fighter. And he, again, when they came out to the center of the ring to start the round, he said, keep it clean, guys. Well, you know what? When they get inside there, the heads are banging together, and they have been all night long. But, you know, if he takes a point from each guy, it's like offsetting penalties. So what? Uh, you just got to watch, you know, for cuts. You hate to see a fight, and, you know, I, I just hate that. When a cut opens from a head button, it affects the outcome of the fight. This is round five, scheduled for 12. Bernard Hopkins in the red trunks. Off his head, and the man who calls himself the hitman. Enrique Arnelas in the black trunks. Now you see a wide disparity in punches according to punch that landed by Hopkins. But right now I got it two rounds apiece. I mean, I, I liked Arnelas last round. Thought he landed two significant right hands. And I thought he was a little more active in round one. But... You know, as I said, unofficial scorecard. Let's look at the online score. Absolutely. The fans are scoring with us. www.versus.com slash scorecard. Score along with us. I think I've got Hopkins a little bit ahead. One round, one of those four I felt was even. Uh-huh. Probably round one. Good left hook. Yes. Yeah, Hopkins. Hopkins leading with a left hook. He liked it, too. <laughs> and as it was with that right on the inside. The heads bang together. A lot of work being done on the inside by both fighters. This is a very hard fight to control once they get on the inside like that. And look at this. How do you like that? Okay. Well, if I'm wrong, <laughs> if I'm wrong, they're wrong with me because that's like actually I have it 38-38 after four. And thanks, fans, for being part of our fight night here in Philadelphia. The Broad Street Brawl. We are on Broad Street at the Lea Chorus Center on the campus of Temple University. The street you're pretty familiar with, I would think. <laughs> Down the block. Those flyers. Yep. The original Broad Street Bullies. Right. 
See, Bernard is so good on the inside of just smothering his man and tying him up, minimizing damage. That's what Ornelas wants to do with damage, but actually, it's Hopkins doing it. This started with a body shot. Yes. And Bernard followed it up. Ornelas trying to fight him off. Good work on the inside with the uppercuts by Ornelas. Three of them that I counted so far. Good work is right off the ropes by Ornelas. He's a tough guy. Tough battle on the inside. Here comes the bell ending round five. All right, take a look here. You see, it's just a grueling fight on the inside. I mean, two good uppercuts there by Ornelas, and then two more. Hopkins, of course, did his share of the work in there, too. But, man, a tough fight for a guy at any age. Underway in round six. And for this point, Hopkins looks fresh. So does Ornelas. They don't want him jumping in there. The corner, afraid that a walk in, but a great combination by Hopkins hurt Ornelas. Because one thing that Bernard Hopkins has always been is a great counterpuncher. You know, he knows how to use angles. He knows how to react. He knows how to make his opponent commit himself and get out of position. Hopkins got caught with a right hand. He was smiling before. He wasn't smiling after he got hit with a right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. But I, I think that so far, he, he will trade that one right hand that he got hit with, you know, for the shots he landed in the first 10 seconds of this round. I have to tell you, Wally, you, you watch him, and I'm amazed. And he's, he's going to be 45 next month, and there's no way you would see that. No. There's no way you could tell that. I, I hope I look that good when I'm his age. Oh, man. you got a long way to go. <laughs> and there you see round five. Sometimes the fight looks different, you know, when you're watching it than when you see the numbers. To me, I thought Hopkins clearly won round five. According to the numbers, he won it narrowly, but at least we, uh, we have the same. Guy. Starting to see Ornelas's corner wants him to, to walk in, to box his way in, not jump into a dangerous punch from Hopkins. Well, you know, Hopkins is a difficult guy to beat. You know, you need certain attributes to beat the guy. I mean, you know, Calzaghe beat him, you know, narrowly with very, very fast hands very busy and taking Bernard out of his fight plan. Ornelas is not doing that. He's pretty much fighting Bernard's fight. Even though he's fighting it well, you're not going to fight Bernard's fight better than Bernard fights. And Good he's right got a right hand and another one. And I think he's starting to wear down Ornelas a little bit. Ornelas loading up. He's a strong guy, you know? Like, like I said, I thought he was wearing down a little bit, and then he came right back. That made a liar of me, as these guys often do. But now he's a tough guy and not about to go anywhere right away. But it looks like he wants to land one big punch to try and hurt Hopkins, as opposed to just wearing him down. Lots of luck. Fedor's trying to kill a mosquito with a sledgehammer. Good movement by Hopkins. Nice little combination. The right hand underneath got in as we come to the end of round six. Sam Rose and Wally Matthews ringside here in Philadelphia. Glad you're with us for fight night on Versus. Bernard Hopkins and Enrique Ornelas in our main event. This is round seven. Should the fight now, for some reason, end because of a headbutt, an accidental headbutt, they would go to the scorecards. Yep, we're past the midway point. Well, if that's what would happen, right now, Hopkins would win on my card. Which, of course, means nothing to him. Or to me, for that matter. We only, you know, there are three scorecards in this building that matter, and we don't know what they are. And Wally, the whole crew is counting on you. <laughs> the pressure. So far, I like what I see from Bernard Hopkins. Uh, me too. I see, you know what? I, the best thing I could say about Bernard Hopkins is he looks like the same fighter I watched 10 years ago. <laughs> it's amazing. It's incredible, but, now, but true. 
you're talking about some of the losses. What about the two losses to Jermaine Taylor? I thought he won the first one. Okay. Quite honestly. It's a split decision. Yeah, and, uh, you know, again, a, a guy, a taller guy, a guy with a good jab, right hand on the inside. Great right exchange. Out. You know, Jermaine Taylor didn't get into too many of those exchanges. Right. Like you know, they, he took him out of this mode. And I don't think Ornelas is capable of doing that. Don't forget, a little later on, we're going to go to Australia for the IBO, good right hand by Hopkins, IBO Cruiserweight Championship bout, Roy Jones Jr. and Danny Green. And you'll want to see that. Yep. Roy Jones was beaten in that fight, and it changes the landscape for Bernard Hopkins. Good right hand by Hopkins. Well, I'll tell you what, Ornelas is really durable, although that one did seem to hurt him. He's soaking up the punishment. And he's getting some uh, some really serious swelling now in that left eye. But Hopkins can't afford to get overconfident here. Ornelas is tough and hangs in there. And well, he never does, though. You know, one thing about Bernard, he doesn't take chances. He knows when the time is right. He's patient. You know, those of you who remember back to the Trinidad fight, you know, he knocked him out in the 12th round. And wow, you saw that Ornelas' legs almost went out yeah. in there. Bernard has landed a couple of hooks to the body. I mean, Bernard's like a bullfighter in a way. He doesn't go in unless he knows, you know, the bull is ready to go. Now it's Ornelas backing off a little bit. Hasn't been charging as much. Now he got hurt this round. Final seconds of round seven with Ornelas trying to go on the attack, but he got caught. He sure did, and he had he put together a good sequence there and paid for it. Good round for Bernard Hopkins, end of round seven. Coming up next on Versus, the series premiere of Sports Jobs with the great linebacker All-Pro Junior Seau. Junior will grab his hard hat, take you to the new Meadowlands Stadium, the football stadium for the Giants and Jets. He'll take you into the dugout in the second of the back-to-back -back episodes of the Dodgers. He'll be their bat boy for Manny Ramirez. Junior does the jobs that make sports work at Sports Jobs with Junior Seau. Two new back-to-back -back episodes coming up next only on Versus. Well, you know, I got some painting to be done in my dining room if he has some time. <laughs> He'll help you. Love to have it. Junior, come on by. All right, let's take a look at some of the words. This is late in the round now. I'll tell you what, Ornelas got staggered by that right hand. I don't know if we're going to see it or not, but he had a really good offensive sequence in the final 10 seconds, and then Bernard just made him pay. That's the right hand that was earlier in the round. And you see Bernard a little showboating after he landed it. I've given Bernard the last three rounds. What about you? Uh, so have I. Okay. So have I. So he's building up a lead here. Yeah, I would think so. I think he's taking control of the fight after the fourth round. Not that he was ever not in control of the fight. Gary Rosado, the referee, done a good job. Doing some tough work on the inside. Yeah, these guys, fighters. they're not an easy day for any referee. Bernard going to the body. And he really has found a home for that right uppercut. He, found, he, he has found that he can land it almost at will when Ornelas lets his left hand go. Take a look at the numbers there again. You know, this is a steady tattoo by Hopkins. 16 to 8. Punch is landed, and also, you know, he's, he's reduced Ornelas' connect percentage, which I said before, I didn't think it was all that important. When you see a guy's only landing 19% of his punches. Bernard continues to land the right hand. He's gotten in a couple of uppercuts on the inside. Right uppercut's been his punch tonight. It really has. And they're taking a toll on Ornelas. Definitely slowed down the last couple of rounds. Yeah. Just by looking at Ornelas' face, you can tell which hand from Bernard is doing the damage because of the swelling over his left eye. Just to finish what I was saying about the, the punch percentage, when you reduce the guy to only landing one out of every five punches, that tells you that, you know, you're playing pretty good defense in there. Let's check our online wow. scoring. And they have, our fans have Ornelas with the lead. That's a slip. That's surprising. Huh? That is 
keep surprising. It clean, push him down. Let's keep it clean now. Let's All go. right, keep it clean, says Gary Rosado. As he pushed. Bernard Hopkins pushed Ornelas Danny. Yeah, things are getting a little rough in there. Maybe the fans really want to see that Ornelas Danny Green fight. <laughs> I mean, you know what? If you give points for, for toughness and determination, certainly Ornelas deserves a couple of points for that. He's not giving up. If this goes the distance, certainly you wonder about the judges. Will they be influenced by the presence of, the presence of Bernard Hopkins, the reputation of Bernard Hopkins? Bernard's town, Bernard's house, it's Bernard's night. In order to fight, I think it would be real hard to win a decision. Good work, oh. and a right hand lands by Hopkins. All right, let's take a look at Hopkins here. You see that beautiful right hand that he snuck in. That punch has found a home on Ornelas' left cheekbone all night long. I think if, if you're scoring with most effective punches, Bernard Hopkins has a huge edge. No doubt. No doubt. What do you have it through eight? I've got, you know what, at this point, I've got Hopkins ahead by four points. I've given him every round five through eight. You know, to me, he's slowly taking control of the fight, as he usually does. You know, it's never anything spectacular. It's not something, you go, wow, that's where the fight turned. He just slowly turns up the pressure on you. Before you know it, you're five rounds down, and you've got three rounds to go. And, you know, that's pretty much where we are now. Four rounds to go. I agree with you. I think he's won the last four. He's been in control. He's been bouncing around. The thing I'm looking at, and there are still four rounds to go, is there's no way that I'm looking at Bernard Hopkins and saying this no. guy can't fight anymore. Thank you. Not only can he can he still fight, he can fight at a high level yes. for 12 rounds. I mean, right now, there's no way he's going to get tired unless Ornelas, you know, drastically turns up the pressure here. And I don't think he's able to do that. He's trying. Ornelas got in a right hand. Follows up with a solid right by Hopkins. I mean, think about the difference, all right? Let's just throw this out there. Think about the difference between Evander Holyfield, who's a tremendous physical specimen as well, fighting at a similar age as Bernard Hopkins. Think of the difference in Holyfield 10 years ago to now, and look at Hopkins. He looks like, you know, the fighter he was in the late 80s, early 90s. Hopkins hasn't slowed down in this fight. He's kept up a good pace. He's been strong on the inside when they've exchanged. He took some big punches early. You know, one of the knocks on Hopkins throughout his career is that he's not active enough. He doesn't, you know, just doesn't do enough. Just does enough to win. I can't, I don't think anybody's going to be saying that tonight. I think he's fought at a pretty good pace. Just nice. that left hook. Doubled up with a left body and then upstairs. Oh, and he, he gets caught one. Hand. Wow. Ornell's his best shot of the fight. Best shot of the fight. Let's see if those legs feel 45 years old now. <laughs> you know, it's funny. When we were talking to Ornelas' uh, guy, Howard Grant, his trainer, he said, I'm sure Bernard gets hurt. He's a human being, goes, but he never shows That's it. That's right. And he, just, he didn't show it there either. Ornelas coming in, but Hopkins lands the right hand. You know, it, in boxing, it doesn't matter how you feel, Sam. It's what you show. Stop, stop, stop. Let's go. Out. Take seconds. Let's go. Final seconds, seconds. The of the ninth round. Bernard Hopkins always been a guy that uses his head in the ring, and there you see a great example of it. Bang, what a shot. Round 10, scheduled for 12. Hopkins leads with a left hook, bounces around, and scores with another left hook. Little showboating. And he's feeling pretty crowd. comfortable in there, isn't he? Yes, he is. I'd love to know what the online scoring has now, but I just can't imagine how you can watch this fight and not think that Hopkins is, is pretty well ahead. Ornelas has battled, and he has put pressure on, and Hopkins has answered. And he certainly has had his moments. He just certainly, also just as certainly has not had as many. Either man has been down. 
This is like a typical Bernard Hopkins performance. I mean, this just in from punch stat. These are the average numbers through round nine. Hopkins landing 15 punches, throwing 40. Ornelas landing nine punches, throwing 42. So it's a close fight by the numbers, but it's a little bit in the, you know, every round slightly in favor of Hopkins before you know they add up and here we are in round 10 and I got Hopkins ahead by five points. That's a good card Wally. Thank you. Right, it must be the same as yours. <laughs> And here we see the online scoring, and now Hopkins starting to edge ahead, oh, see? Okay. Which is what he does. Show you the last three rounds. Yeah. And that's clearly, you know, the way it's been going. Let go. Let go. Ornelas may be starting to show a little weariness now, I think, for the first time in the fight. Still waiting for Hopkins to show a little. He's pacing himself in this round. And I don't know if that's fatigue or just Lernellis trying to stay away from him. Could be. <laughs> He's like, what did I do? The referee Gary Rosado with a big slap on the back <laughs> to get Lernellis' attention. Yeah, I bet it did. Good lead by Ornelas and the uppercut by Hopkins. He always has an answer. Yeah, he doesn't let anything go unpunished. No, he, he doesn't let you leave without your change. Good flurry on the inside by Ornelas. And you know, Ornelas did a very good thing to, to get out of the corner there. Hopkins has got in the left hook, smiling as we head for the end of round 10. Championship territory, round 11, scheduled for 12. Sam Rosen, Wally Matthews at ringside here at the Lear Chorus Center at Temple University in Philadelphia. Glad you're with us for fight night on Versus with Bernard Hopkins against Enrique Ornelas. And on our cards, Hopkins has a very comfortable lead through 10 rounds. Yes, but I did give Ornelas round 10. Okay. And I did it, you know, maybe out of effort, you know, out of recognition of his effort more than anything, but I thought it was a close round, and I agree with you. I think Hopkins might have taken a little bit of a breather in that round, but he sure looks like he's having fun in there. He looks like he's having a good, hard sparring session. His corner man, his brother Nazim Richardson, telling him to finish strong. He said, you're in great shape, finish strong. I agree on both counts. Right hand lead, Ornelas answers, so does Ooh. Hopkins with a right hand. <laughs> Can he count a punch? Again, a right hand lead by Hopkins. Started the flurry that backed up Ornelas. And there you see the edge in power punches. I mean, Bernard has landed, even, you know, for him, I think a good amount of significant, you know, impossible to miss power punches. A lot of good flashy left hooks, a lot of good right hands. Good jab by Hopkins. Bernard said he loves it when people say you don't look your age. <laughs> and he has not looked his age in this bout. No, he has not. There's the online scoring. See uh, Bernard pulling ahead. Now you see they gave him round 10. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. We're, we're just like kind of out of sync tonight, me and my, my people. But at the end of the night, I think you're going to I think both we're... end up in the same yes. place. I think we're with the same guy <laughs> at this point. Ornelas, who was aggressive early in the fight, has been less so the last three or four rounds. And you know what, Bernard's real, oh, oh he got a shoulder in the yes. face. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh. Watch out. Right. I was gonna say, watch Bernard out. is kind of like no playing his slowdown game now, if you notice. Mm -hmm. He's kind of really slowed the pace down. He kind of knows, you know, he's kind of like cruising ahead of the field now. Good flurry. Hanging off Bernard's right glove and referee Gary Rosado. 
Good. You know this what? I want to take this that opportunity a... to say something. You know, something that you and I discussed privately. Bernard Hopkins, everybody knows, and he's not. He does not shy about talking about it. Spent some time in prison as a young man. Mm -hmm came out more than 20 years ago, and I must say, this guy has lived an exemplary life, nice. you know, in and out of the ring, and we don't hear that enough about athletes. It's a classic story. It's what about? End of round 11. Up his head. Bring it in. Touch it 12th and final round. Bernard Hopkins, Enrique Ornelas. It's been a good fight, and it looks like Bernard Hopkins in control, but here they go. Huh. He's not playing it safe. No, he's not. Wow. He may be taking out, you know, his disappointments of this morning on uh, Mr. Ornelas. But I'll tell you what, Ornelas is also trying. And now, yeah, they were, the heads are coming bang together. Of heads and Ornelas so. is hurting. Wow. He's upset in the left eye. You know, this is it's almost closed. Sorry, Wally. I was going to say, it's pretty sportsmanlike of Hopkins. Even though the referee was waving them together, he deliberately took the long way around to give Ornelas another few seconds to recover. Both fighters came in hard, yeah. throwing punches and leaning in with the heads. And Bernard might have needed those couple of seconds himself. And he's got the fans here at the Leocora Center on their feet. Again, the heads are coming together. I mean, it's part of Bernard's style. He puts that head down, and it's, you know, it's like a third fist in there. But the fact that the fight's been fought at close quarters like this, it's almost inevitable they're going to bang heads. We will show you the action from Australia earlier today. Roy Jones Jr. and Danny Green for the IBO, the IBO Cruiserweight Championship. And we hope to hear from Bernard Hopkins as well, his reaction to what happened down under. Yeah, so don't go away. You're going to want to see that. And if you check your clocks, you know it doesn't take all that long. Nice combination. Hopkins following up. He's Looking going for the for big finish. You're not kidding. And Ornelas is using Hopkins to stay up. He was Absolutely. hurt. Absolutely. As badly as Bernard wants to get him out of there, Ornelas wants to make sure he doesn't get out of there. Well, if Bernard wanted to look good in this bout, I think he's accomplished that. I agree. I think he's looked fine. He's got a lot left in the tank. At age 45, a month away from, at age 44, a month away from being 45. Amazing. future Hall of Famer, one of the all-time greats, Bernard Hopkins. If he doesn't stop fighting, he'd be in the Hall of Fame while he's still active. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Which might be a first, I'm not sure. I don't see him stopping any day soon. Break, break, back. Nor would I well, advise him to. He doesn't get hurt. <laughs> He doesn't even he's, show a mark. He's in great, great shape. There's not a mark on this man. And as we said, the story of his life, when he writes the book, he said, the title will be Discipline. <laughs> Here it comes, the final bell. And they're on their feet at the Leocora Center. Wow. He came real close to stopping him. Came real close to stopping Ornelas at the end of the fight. Fans loved it. Their hometown hero, Bernard Hopkins. First time he fought here in how many you said? Six, six years. years. Well, almost seven years. Well, I think for a lot of people it was worth the wait. Oh, man. That was a terrific performance. It really was. And I had him winning the fight by six points, which is, you know, pretty convincing. Again, we still have Roy Jones Jr. and Danny Green from Australia. We will show you that action, so stay with us. And if Bernard, you know, woke up disappointed today, he did not show it tonight. We await the official decision. From our ringside vantage point, there's Bernard Hopkins acknowledging the crowd. Now check this out, you know, while you were reading the promo, this is what was happening right above us. <laughs> And I really thought he was going to land right on us. <laughs> you know what? He's still got his legs, too. I saw you jump up. Wow. <laughs> I thought we were going to have a visitor here. Quite a performance by Bernard Hopkins. 
And here's the other thing in my well, let's get Ladies the official and decision. Gentlemen, here's Dino Del Bono. After 12 exciting rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecard, and they are as follows. Judge Robert Grasso sees it, 118-110. Judge Raul Cai Jr. sees it, 120-109. Judge Stephen Weisfeld sees it, 119 Michael Vick in the ring with Bernard Hopkins, his 50th professional win. And after the fourth round, he took charge of the fight and brought it home. And you know, by the scorecards, I was actually more generous to Ornelas than the judges were. Stay with us. Coming up, Roy Jones Jr. and Danny Green championship out from Australia. Don't go away.